Gang, just regarding, just regarding refugees, mass migration into the Western world. Apologies if I'm not reading the chat. Uh, chat. I'm just catching some stuff. I'm going to make some comments regarding it. Just regarding the mass migration of refugees into Europe, coming in from Africa, Middle East, right? Regarding the mass migration of, I don't know, mass migration. We don't necessarily call them refugees. Let's say mass migration coming into the United States from the southern border, right? And lot from Central America, South America, and Africa, and the Middle East, and Asia going here and making their way into the United States from the southern border. Mass migration. We can't call them refugees, all of them. Not even close, right? Same with into Europe. Keep this in mind. In the late 1970s, this is important. This is important to put things into context, right? In the late 1970s, the Carter administration in the United States came up with a policy stating that if anyone, any Cuban, made their way directly into the United States, they would get land and immigrant status fast track to citizenship, right? You got that? So the United States of America on its multi-decade war on Cuba, okay, came up with a policy saying that anyone that came from Cuba right here and made their way to United States and a lot of boats came over, right? United States and landed on US soil directly. So Cubans couldn't go to Mexico and make their way to uh, United States and get that deal. They had to go directly from Cuba to the United States. They would be fast tracked. Uh, they would get green card fast track their way into citizenship. And Elder God saying, see Scarface. And Scarface, the movie with Al Pacino, shows news clips at the beginning of this happening, right? Straight up fact, right? So Cubans, the ones that didn't like the Castro regime, right, went right on, right? So they all hopped into boats in Havana, and Havana's on the top there, right, facing the United States. Went on to Havana, lots of boats, tons of boats, hundreds upon hundreds of boats, right? And they decided to make their way into the United States to Miami, to the, the southern coast there of Florida, right? The Cuban government didn't prevent them from doing this. They turned around and they said, anybody that wants to go, go. You have, you get off the island, right? You want to go, go. So Cuban government comes out and says, go. If you, if you want to go to the United States, get out of here. You don't like us, get out of here. And Cuba, the ones that wanted to go, they went right on, right? They got all together, lots of boats and they all loaded onto the boats and made their way to Florida. When, they're made, when they made their way to Florida, what the Americans found out was this, that when the Cuban government said go, they also emptied their insane asylums and their prisons. And they took everyone that was in the insane asylum, I think most of the, most of the people in the insane asylum, and in prisons, the ones that didn't have really family that was going to really make too much noise, they put them on boats and they sent them all to the United States. Hence, Miami became, at one point, I think, murder capital of the United States or something, right? Until Detroit took it over, right? But lots of crime in Miami, lots of gangs in Miami, and that filtered all the way into the, United, into the rest of the United States, right? Miami, Florida, became a major hub for cocaine coming from Colombia and Bolivia at the time, but Colombia mainly going up there in Panama and stuff like this. Now, we, we knew about this from an Iran Contra affair. Lots of planes, the uh, CIA was flying from here to Florida to siphon through in the 1980s to, you know, feed into the rest of the United States to raise money for Iran Contra's war, black ops, and stuff like this, right? Brilliant move by the Cuban government. Boop, empty the jails, right? <laughs> Send them all to the United States. So the mass migration that we're seeing happen in the southern border of the United States and happening in Europe, coming in from Africa, Middle East, Asia, and Asia, Africa, Middle East coming into the United States as well. You can bet your ass there's a lot of people that were emptied from, uh, 
from prisons in these areas and they're sending him up. Guaranteed, there's a lot of convicts from this area, from the prisons, that they were given an option saying, hey, you can stay in prison or march your way to the southern border. And if you're, I've never been in prison down here, but I wouldn't want to be in prison anywhere, right? But some places are worse than others. I knew I had friends that were in prison in Afghanistan and the guy went in with a full set of hair, came out completely bald, right? And he, he was a friend that I met in Vancouver. He, he was not right, right? But they gave him an option. They said, go and guarantee they're going. That's the mass migration. That's U.S. foreign policy, Western foreign policy in play, right? Gaddafi warned, Gaddafi warned Europe and the Western powers. He said, if you take me out, a floodgate is going to be open and millions are going to flood into Europe. And that's exactly what happened. Okay, that's exactly what happened.